firstly, I would want to congratulate you. And uh, you are, I won't say an actor who surprises us, but impresses us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're somebody who cannot be typecast in any genre. Is that a conscious decision from your end that you don't want to do the same thing? Because I heard you once say that being repetitive is the biggest sin an actor can commit. Yeah. Uh, I don't go for uh, impressing people. You know, I, I want to surprise myself and I, I want to engage myself rather, you know. Surprise is also a very super, superficial thing. You know, I want to engage myself. Mm -hmm. So for in, uh, to engage myself, whatever, whatever needs, I do that. Whatever is needed, I do that. And maybe uh, because of that, you see that, you know, I, I surprise you or I surprise the audience, I surprise myself. But I'm basically looking for engagement. I want to engage myself. If I engage myself, you know, audience would be engaged. Maybe, you know, uh, in a, uh, not on a massy level, but uh, there would be something to explore for myself mm. and there would be something for the audience to wonder about Absolutely. or to think about. Absolutely. You know, that is what I'm after, you know, to have a connection in my life. And that is that is what I've been doing, and that that is what my training has uh, led me to, you know, to to get engaged and see what comes. Uh, and truly, I mean, you have taken risks, and also you are as mainstream as it can get. But earlier, you were, I mean, initially slotted in the fringes of mainstream. That this is called art cinema, parallel mm -hmm. cinema, and you've just made that connect. But now the lines have absolutely dissolved. Yeah. So. What is it like being absolutely mainstream in comparison to that slot? Uh, it's it's uh, it's very interesting. It's very heartening. It's very uh, exciting to see uh, how uh, audience is audience taste is getting refined and refined. Mm. They, they they are evolving, and they are uh, looking forward. Like they are looking up to us to give them better stories. You know, better told stories. You know, in, in a better way. Uh, where things are not spoon spoon fed when i when i started doing uh, uh, cinema uh, i was told by my directors you know on, a, on the loudspeakers spoon feed like mahesh but used to tell me is spoon feed the audience their fun <laughs> don't act act badly <laughs> and that was the need of the time and he knew it and he's a he's an aware man he's an evolved man and that's why you know yeah, he knew the pulse of the audience, but today, when I, you know, when you do Piku, there are certain things which is not a spoon fed. Mm. It's more the art is more, art lies more in, in, uh, not revealing things. Mm. You know, and that is the change, that you don't need to. You you have to ignite the audience imagination, Absolutely. their thought, their 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 their. You know, you have to engage them. Uh, intelligently so their intelligence is ignited and they start thinking beyond what you're doing and that is that is very exciting about Indian cinema in today's time and uh, that is what will lead Indian cinema uh, to 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 win the world audience if this this trend continues and it will continue at least for five years mm. at least for five years mm. five seven years definitely and uh, that will bring in uh, international audience to Indian, uh, you know, for Indian stories and Indian uh, storytellers. And talking about international audience, you managing two simultaneous careers, Bollywood and Hollywood. Bollywood, I know people get offended, Indian cinema and Western cinema. But do you think, do you see a change? Because no longer are Indians caricatured. Earlier they were chosen for their ethnicity, a two minute role, a blink and you miss appearance. But now roles are being written for them. and like. Your role, uh, like you know, like in Jurassic Park, could have been done by anybody of another ethnicity, but you did it. So, do you think that perception is now changing? They're actually scouting for talent. It's not here? about the perception; it's about the market. Mm. Uh, I have been tell I, I've been saying this uh, since uh, you know uh, Slum Dog Millionaire mm. uh, days uh, that uh, American industry is looking for different markets. Mm. 
there was uh, uh, Spanish, uh, you know, actors and directors which were coming into the uh, in uh, Hollywood industry, and and they were becoming like a new thing. Mm. And the Chinese came. Now the it's it's the turn of Indians. Now there will be lot many Indians who will be working in Hollywood cinema, and I wish some director could break through, and 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 start telling Indian stories for the for the world audience. Absolutely. You know. You know, th there are few directors who come and they look for the story. Like the Danny Boyle came and you know he he, he gave us Slumdog Millionaire. Then Ang Lee came and he gave gave us Life of Pi. But we need one director who is consistently t telling Indian stories for the world. An Indian director originated from India. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to happen very soon. Because they say foreign directors, it's like the Coldplay song just came out and everybody's saying stereotypical <laughs> view of <laughs> India, cultural <laughs> appropriation. Do yeah. you feel somewhere that mindset, the Westerners still have that mindset about India or do we just overreact Everybody, to things? Even, even if we are living together, we have a mindset, you know. Mm. People, are, uh, people have a tendency to fall into sleep, you know. If I'm living with you or you are living with mm. me, we have a mindset to kind of box uh, the other person into a perception hmm. and that's 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 you know that's a, uh, that's our sleeping tendency hmm. you know? we don't we are not aware all the time and uh, that is done you know but but there, there will be films there will be people who will who will talk about real india who will talk about there's no absolute thing like real india yeah. it's so diverse True. You know? but somebody will you know uh, connect to a chord which is which which will uh, vibrate, you know, loudly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you make of it? It's like you are there in Hollywood, and then it's the ladies. Yeah. And it seems to be ending there. They look at Irfan Khan, and then they look for ladies. What about the rest? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very nice. It's so it's 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 the, it's the representation of these times, you know, where uh, a lady, uh, you know, like Piku, Piku. The main draw of the film was Deepika. Yeah. There's a uh, uh, film star, yesterday's film star, Amitabh Bachchan, who used to draw the crowd. He's there. I am there, the new, uh, you know, uh, uh, talent and whose you know audience is looking up to. But the main draw was Deepika. True. She was the hero of the film, and you can see the poster. You, you can make Absolutely. out. Absolutely. You know, and that's that's something something. Uh, that's the strength of the story. That's that's where you you can say that Indian audience is evolving, and they are looking for stories, not for stereotypes, absolutely. not for formulas. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And also in the West, like you have Priyanka and Deepika, yeah. and there is of course you there. Yeah. How come the Westerners there? I mean Hollywood, their gaze is just towards. Our leading ladies. What about all the other actors? Do you think they're a little scared to go I into that because they, they, they are, they, are uh, they know that they can cash into the, 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 the uniqueness of Indian beauty. And Tabu had the chance uh, in the namesake, namesake, and, and I think the why? times were not right. And uh, I, I, I heard um, Meera Nair saying that you know she could just take over Hollywood, and that was the possibility. Because they were, they are not aware of Indian beauty, you know, uh, and uh, we still carry that kind of, you know, uh, we are not skinny, we are not, you know, we are tending to 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 become like uh, 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 stereotypical beauty, which is which is which is defined in in in, in you know in these uh, countries, but still we have something which is out of box, yeah, and that is defining them. And talking about Inferno, how was it, and what was it like working with Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks, and you know, there's so many people, you know, the the director, the actress, and Tom Hanks is a is a is a person who's who's beyond actor. Actor ha always carry a kind of insecurity about their about their image, about their what they're doing, and how they will be perceived. I think Tom Hanks is beyond that. He's 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 living life, and uh, he's a grand man, and. You know, he has a grand kind of, you know, perception about everything, and I, 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 I really, really enjoyed being with him and with Ron Howard and with. And Felicity he was just voted as Hollywood's top most star, Tom Hanks. Yeah, I think so. 